On this segment of Men's Sensible Fitness, we're joined by Denny Harper. Denny, welcome to the program. Doug, how you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Denny is kind enough to show us some exercises for the rotator cuff because you have been suffering from a little uh, tendonitis or something going on with yeah, that Yeah, yeah, something up here. Okay, it's pretty much constant pain. Const um, constant pain. Uh, when I exercise and do the wrong thing, it'll flare up for a couple of days, but then, then go back okay. down. And there's a lot of guys and girls out there that are suffering from rotator cuff problems. And with the physical therapy background that I have and many of the others here at Sensible Fitness, we're able to control his pain. And we've shown him a few tricks and a few exercises that's helping him live a little bit more of a normal life. And uh, we're going to show you a nice rotator cuff exercise. So Denny, grab your All right. He's going to lay on his side. Uh, first thing you saw him do is take this pad and put it underneath his arm. And you can go ahead and start the exercise, Denny. And the reason that you put a pad underneath your arm is if your arm is all the way at your side while you're exercising, it kind of chokes out the blood supply to the rotator cuff. There's not a lot of space up here where the supraspinatus tendon goes through your shoulder. So if your arm's at your side, it's kind of like wringing out a washcloth. It squeezes out the blood supply to the rotator cuff. And research has shown just by putting a pad underneath your arm, which brings your shoulder out from your side a little bit, that it allows the blood flow to continue there. And the last thing you want to do um, for tissue that is swollen and inflamed and has issues with it is to choke off the oxygen supply and all the great things that blood can bring to the area. So um, we put that pad underneath the arm. And basically oh, what Denny is doing is external rotation. And um, go ahead and switch to your other side and do a set. All right. And this time I'll kind of just talk a little bit more about the exercise. He's got his arm at his side, dumbbell in hand. His elbow is bent at 90 degrees and it stays that way. He's going all the way down to his stomach and then all the way up until his dumbbell is straight up from his side, okay? Perpendicular to the floor. A lot of people cheat with this one by either limiting their range of motion, not going all the way down to their stomach, or by stopping short of full external rotation. Sometimes you stop short of full external rotation because your muscles are tight and sometimes it's weakness. So um, we can take a look at you and figure out what that is and, and do things accordingly. But if you're doing this exercise correctly, you will not use heavy weight. Women, three to five pounds. Guys, um, eight up to 20 pounds if you're really strong. But uh, a weak rotator cuff, um, you'll use real small weight. And then uh, it'll, it'll get stronger over time, though. How do you feel, Danny? Good? Feeling great. Feeling great. We usually do about 15 repetitions on this exercise, and that kind of gives us a combination of strength and endurance. Um, now, your cardio classes that you do is uh, like Taibo type of stuff. Taibo, kick, uh, kickbox, and punching. Okay, so you're constantly doing this. Mm -hmm. And um, I've, I've altered my uh, punches to go down instead of straight across, and, okay. it, and that's corrected the problem. Right. A lot of rotator cuff issues come from overhead motions, or like Denny's talking, repeated motions, yeah. and you probably punch hundreds of times. A million times. Uh, and, and you have to punch up as well. So it's any kind of overhead motion. You've heard of rotator cuff with pitchers. You know, they're throwing overhand. Um, any type of repetitive motion, especially overhead, if you're going to predispose yourself to a, an, a rotator cuff injury. But it can be controlled, and you can avoid surgery with the right program. And here at Sensible Fitness, we've helped lots of people avoid surgery for rotator cuff, along with back, knees, other issues. So a lot of times, it's just the muscles that are weak. Uh, yes, sir. It's just the muscles that are weak. doesn't allow the shoulder to function properly. Therefore, other muscles are working when they shouldn't be. And then they get irritated, inflamed, and eventually tear. Yeah. You agree with all that? Absolutely. I'm glad you're I came on the show, Diddy. You're the man. I thought you were going to challenge me here on public TV. <laughs> Denny, I appreciate you being on the show. Denny has lost 33 pounds in 10 weeks. He is doing fantastic. And uh, I wanted to give him that little plug there because he's done a great Thank job. Thank you. All right, we appreciate you being on the show. Let's get on with the program. All right.